are going to be for you, Star Stop. We have quite a few uh, things that I have to add on to Mr. Ritesh Deshmukh's CV today. And we talk a lot about that. But uh, Krishi Kalula, the producer, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. We strategically placed this. There was a lot of discussion as to <laughs> where one guy, one girl, one guy, and one girl. So we decided to give you this CV, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Like I said, your CV grows and grows. And okay, thank you so much. Oh, that's really far off. Okay. okay. So let, 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 let me look at it. Thank yeah. you. Hello. Yeah. Distance. Yeah. Uh, Makes the heart grow fonder. Absolutely. And, and hopefully in the next 20 minutes, it will. Yeah. But uh, Ritesh Deshmukh is uh, perhaps one of the most poker-faced comedians there is in the world. Every single line of his has another line below. And you also have a great sense of humor. So when you meet him on the set, how is he to ha hang out with it? I mean, do you hang out a lot together, or is it just business and then that's it? No, we hung out and laughed. Really? Yeah, a lot yeah. of some crazy stuff that yeah. we can't speak about. Yeah. But uh, I think our the jokes that were happening were very situational. Yeah. So it's not like I could repeat anything. He, and of he, course, sometimes yes, there's some text. Said, this, this is the subtext. Subtext. Yeah. But there's no yeah. subtext. This man has uh, made a career and made uh, gazillions of dollars out of a, out of a, a certain kind of cinema which is fantastic, which works for all of India. And so, on the other hand, he's actually a very, very uh, quiet, very serious, very different kind of person as well in real life. You know, whatever little I know of him. So, on a set like Banjo, which is again very nice, strong, serious <laughs> drama sort of film, how is Ritesh Deshmukh the first day when you meet him on the set? Well, I think that even though I don't know if it's because of him or because of me. Oh. Even though it's a serious set, there's always jokes happening, yeah. right? Yeah. There's of always, course. there's always, we always find a joke. Are you the butt of the jokes? No. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. But n n not really. But not really. But I think um, it's also because of perspective, right? Yeah. Uh, so many, uh, um, you know, most of the time, um, a humor is in context, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's through a perspective. Yeah. So here I'm in a Verly village shooting. Yeah and I feel part of it. Yeah. And she's playing someone who comes from New York, and she actually yeah. comes from New York. Yeah. So then suddenly there's this different perspective of similar things, you know? Yeah. So, uh, so a lot of it was real, but a lot of it was actually real as well. Yeah, so, yeah. so you know, for example, we were just discussing uh, a few hours ago. I started doing this photography on set, and I clicked this beautiful panoramic view of- But you're good at it? I, good, no, yeah. okay. decent, Quick, decent. Oh, okay. So I nice. clicked a lovely picture and she yeah. said, can you give that picture to me? I yeah. said, of course, I'll yeah. send it to you. Yeah. I said, in fact, give me your camera, let me click it again. Yeah. Because, you know, there was this water, yeah. some sh ships, skyline, skyline yeah. Mumbai yeah. evening shot, yeah. lovely uh, light on the buildings reflecting. I took Beautiful. this lovely panoramic view, gave yeah. it to Gorgeous. her. And she SMS me, guess what? That's my Face B picture. So it was my fan page. Wow. Uh, you know that that yeah, yeah, yeah. cover so picture. That's been done by him. That was done by him. Yeah, and so then she then, called me after three days. Wait, so yes. then yeah. I posted. I was very happy. It looks nice. You know, fan page looks great. Beautiful Bombay. I love it. I look on my page three days later, and people are making all these weird comments like, "Oh my God, how could you put this up there? Oh my God, this is horrible." People are laughing. People are yelling. Why? People are. I didn't know why. Because it depicts yeah. Mumbai's slum. Well, no. This, I didn't know. I, I click on it and it comes up and I'm like, well, what's so bad about it? I'm looking, looking, looking. On the side, there is a man with his ass out taking a dump. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh my Lord, Jesus, oh no. And I quickly took it off. I was like, oh my God. And I wrote him, I said, I can't believe you did this. I didn't so see. did you know that it was there? No, I didn't know. No, I didn't know. <laughs> I, That's why I like uh, this. This looks uh, so that, There's that poker face. So you were the butt of jokes. Uh, okay, yeah. Krishika, you have this. There was a joke and there was a there was butt a joke of course. Every pun intended here. <laughs> but uh, this this is a fun uh, film in the sense because uh, you've got a man here that has suddenly come into his own in the last three years at the box office. You know, and I, I keep saying this to Ritesh also. There, there was a Ritesh that was hiding, and now somebody thankfully has discovered that part of himself. Uh, not only he, but others as well. And now he's become a box office force. So when you when you have Ritesh Deshmukh on board, you think of making a film like this, uh, is there a lot of thinking that goes into it or you just let it flow? Uh, it's a lot of thinking about uh, uh, goes in for to make a, such a wonderful film. Mm. And uh, of course, uh, for me, it went with the flow because Ritesh had believed uh, in the concept and he enjoyed the concept and he really... Uh, uh, you can see the change in him, the macho look, yeah. and yeah, the, a look, lot, the hairstyle, the hairstyle everything. Perfect. Uh, everything. He believed in what we asked him to do. 
So it, that's how it went. Are you a hands-on flow. producer or do you like stay away? Yes, I'm a hands-on producer. Yeah. I, I need to comment on that yeah. um, because I have uh, known uh, Krishika for a very long time. Um, and um, in the last few years, the kind of, uh, you know, she's extremely conscious of the kind of film that she wants to back personally. Mm. Um, and her name on which yeah. film it should come, you know, there's a certain, I think she's developed a certain credibility over the years, yeah. um, right from Tanu as Manu to Tanu yeah. uh, Returns to Ranjana to yeah. um, other credible films that have released uh, recently. And have had a great box office record as well. No, absolutely. And that, that's, that's, because, that's because she understands which films are going to work. Yeah. She also understands what kind of cinema uh, needs to be out there and she uh, backs it. Um, that's wonderful. And I really want to thank her and yours for uh, backing this film because um, eventually um, it, it's a it's a first time director who's a extremely credible name in yes, Marathi, Marathi cinema, yes. but in Hindi it's his first film yeah. um, and he's an incredible director and hopefully uh, you guys will go and watch and uh, find it out for yourself but um, here's a producer uh, who went out there okay fine and she insisted that I want a new look I don't want the same Ritesh that people have been seeing so I said what do we do he said I want longer hair so I was supposed to shoot this film uh, between two schedules of Houseful, right. but Houseful, my hair you was short. Yeah, and you, you're clean shaven. Clean shaven. Yeah. So she pushed the film. She said, "I don't mind. You give me dates later. I'll yeah. push the film for four months." So we pushed the film again for four months. And you're one of the and few men in the world at this age that still has long hair and, and a beard. No. You know, and we, which grows and it's that's that's real. No, it's oh. Oh. It's I don't real. get it. It took me <laughs> some time. That's true. Yeah. Oh my God, that's you know awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So yeah, so it's easy. Four months, you got your hair back. And yeah, <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> they got my hair back and um, so so that's how involved she is as a producer in terms of she was there um, almost every day on the set to figure out and plan and right from the promos to the first look to the songs and um, wow. in incredible you, hats off to her. Are you a nervous producer also then? Yes, of course. Yeah. I also uh, have the nervousness how a director or an actor would have yeah. because it's a baby which we all want yeah. our audience to love and uh, appreciate. But it, like you said, the track record's working really well. I'm so confused with Nargis Fakhri most of the time. You know why? Because I see this fantastic performance in Madras Cafe. And then after that, I hear so many reports of you a, either leaving or sometimes staying. And then the time when you say you're leaving, you have five releases that come back to back. And I'm going, that was a really badly timed PR stunt. Or I don't know what happened. So now, ever since you said you're leaving, every month there's a release coming out. And they're mostly doing very well. So, you know, you walk away with him, with a 100 crore film also. So, I'm saying, how, what, what's all, what's, is, is there a backlog or are, are you, is there a rebirth but or what? I don't think she said that she's leaving ever. Well, like I said, it was, a, it was just Listen, reading everything. there's so many things that people write. Yeah. On and her behalf. On my behalf. Yeah. Or about me, and I'm like, okay, cool, whatever, because I'm always in the news about something. Which is a great so. thing, actually. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Whatever it is, I'm always there. Something. Actually, I have a feeling not everybody understands that perfect sense of humor. Thank Sometimes, you for calling it perfect. Yeah, it's actually, it was, <laughs> some of us do it's dry, and it, especially in India, when you you write a line over there, sometimes that is a news. Do you, are you worried about that? Every single line that you could write could become like news. Oh, like my favorite. I, I have to say this. Yeah. In Please the, do. like, because I say a lot of weird things or sarcastic things, yeah. and I try to be funny because yeah. I feel humor lets the pressure go away a Except bit. Except written humor. Yes, yeah, so, but stand. also people didn't get my humor. So my favorite, this is my favorite. It was like front page, I don't know, if, wherever you'll find it, like so many years ago, yeah. where this woman had come up to me very smiley. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. We're going to do an interview. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I just want to know how does it feel to be with all the B-Town stars? I looked at her, I was like, this lady, in my head, I'm like, this lady trying to call me a Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> so I looked at her. I said, oh, well, I'm just waiting for y'all to turn me into a <laughs> Guess what headline? Argus Factory waiting to turn a <laughs> I said, oh, my God. How could she write that? <laughs> like, how could she write that? How could you say that to a reporter? I don't know. I didn't know any better. <laughs> I just got here. We need to filter a lot of stuff. Nargis Factory waiting to be Nargis. Wait for new front pages. Wait, wait, yeah. All the there time. Lots of lines Just there. tune in to me. Yeah. Someone told me I should have my own TV show. Oh, you should. You, know. you should be like the Truman Show. I, you know no. the Truman Show? Yeah. It would be my so bad. My Krishna the producer of Banjo. Of course, Ritesh Deshmukh, the lead actor, and Nargis Fakhri. Please continue with the show there. No, no. So if we put a I'm camera on you. To this. Look, yeah. Yeah. because you know how bad I can be. Like, no, with what I say, like, I have no censorship. My team knows it's yeah. like nuts in my you, bad you, event. That's professional suicide in India. Or, or. Or a lot of money. 
like the Kardashians <laughs> in America. <laughs> oh, wow. It's so really are, like... Are we, are we looking at... Yeah, maybe, maybe we could, you could actually be one of... The, you know, cause I, but I think you're pretty cool about most things also. You're right? So I, even when, when people give that headline the next day, it's not like you're fretting over it and trying to give like a, no. a cover-up saying, listen, why did you write that? No, 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 I don't know. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, but, I mean, but that's that's amazing, yeah. yeah. But like I said, not too many people can actually take that forward. <laughs> I have to actually compliment this man in the middle here. You were mentioning about this uh, about Ravi Jadavia and you know, fantastic uh, Marathi name he is. You are single-handedly responsible. I can't reiterate this enough. Uh, in, a, in a country where regional cinema is not considered up to the mark, okay, it's it was always considered the second, not not even the second actually. I would say fifth cousin, you know, of what proper cinema was. You're one of the few people that has actually done it, made it profitable, made it look good. And now you're taking it out there, and then now you bring him into Bollywood cinema. And you also give it a look. This is a big weight that you're carrying, but I have to compliment you every time on this. Oh, and say, it's you. really good that you managed to do this. But uh, was this something that you always wanted to do? No, uh, actually, uh, those are extremely kind words. Um, Salil, thank you so much. But um, I don't think I'm worthy of any of those words. No, you I'm, are. I don't know. Because I'll tell you what. Um, I, I guess I was just uh, there at the right time and the cinema, Marathi cinema and the box office was changing at the same time. So I've just been one more hand to that movement. A very big I, Marathi critic, Amul Parsore, told me this. He said, Marathi cinema, this is his words. I quote, unquote, he says, Marathi cinema is not like Bollywood where we need stars. Right. And I don't, we, we need storylines. Right. He says, we need just a good enough story and it works. And you proved him wrong. Because I feel that with you coming in there and being able to give that new face, they have a face for Marathi cinema. Yes, there was always Mahesh Manjrekar, but here was a Bollywood star who managed to also do the crossover. No, I, it, 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 it was just um, a destiny and a bit of luck that everything moved there. But I agree with that critic who mm -hmm. said that uh, Marathi cinema is actually working on content and that's how it should be. Yeah. So I'm part of that good content. Yeah. I'm not coming as um, uh, someone who thinks of himself as a star. I don't use, uh, like using that word at all. Yeah. Um, but an established probably actor from Hindi trying to work in uh, Marathi cinema. But I, I genuinely feel uh, that Marathi cinema uh, is, whatever it is, is because of um, content, mm -hmm. but primarily uh, in the last three, four years, a lot of youngsters, a lot of youth are taking pride in watching Marathi cinema. And that change is very important because every Friday, and great, they were going and watching Hindi cinema but not looking at Marathi cinema. So the Marathi content was slightly older. Yeah. But now um, um, we, tried, audience, yeah, we, 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 we try to do something in Laibhari. How do we attract the youngsters to come and watch it? Yeah. How do we make it? A, that was an attempt. Uh, but post that, Sairat took it to another level. So I think everyone has contributed to this movement and, and um, I think it's a great victory and I think that uh, regional cinema in various parts of the country should uh, eventually survive on their own yeah. um, as an, a profitable industry like the South does and Hindi film will survive, yeah, actually, of course. I think about 10 years back, Hindi films went through the same thing. People used to want to watch only Hollywood and then Hindi cinema took it up a notch. The production values got better, everything, the storylines got real and as a producer, you would actually see this. You've been able to get the right content. Getting the right content now, I hear so many uh, horror stories every day nowadays. You know how people are yeah. reading, it's all public now. Some production houses shut down, you know, figures do come in there. It's not how much a, a film makes, it's how much it costs to make also. You've got to be very smart about it. So it is about a mathematics game as well as the creativity of, of it. Course, of so, course. Uh, you know, where's the thinking that comes in over there with you? Uh, I just believe in my content, first of all. And then, uh, and then I, for me, if my content really works, yeah. and I feel it will work, and so then what's your acid test for content? I mean, you there's watch no, there's no acid test because till now, till date, you cannot say what works, what does not work. Maybe the audience would be in that mood, a frame of mind to uh, enjoy such kind of cinema or not. But I feel always a real cinema, a rooted cinema, always works because. Um, Though we know what is happening around, but if you see it in, uh, in a big scale, we really enjoy it. And that's how I, uh, I feel people can connect to it. Even uh, Banjo is a real cinema, it's yeah. about uh, street musicians. Yeah. And I feel, I'm sure, uh, I just hope uh, that... <laughs> no, the, the initial response, you can only gauge the initial response. The initial yeah. response will be yeah. great. Yeah. Thereafter, it's all... It's all about... Uh, yeah, uh, no, I I understand. Understand. Sorry, yeah. Uh, not to interrupt, but uh, she said something really interesting. Uh, because, you know, she is a producer and somewhere I produced uh, films in, in my capacity. I just feel that, um, interestingly, what she said was, uh, there are three things that are prime, most important. Uh, a, being rooted. 
mm. you know and that uh, root could be anywhere you know it, it could be rooted in america it could be rooted in any space but that being rooted to the uh, to the milieu is very important second connect emotional connect with the character is very you should be invested as an audience uh, with their story and their life and the journey uh, that they are going and third thing you should be entertained and entertain i'm not saying laughter entertainment in a broader perspective could be anything could be the emotional journey that they're going through could be the fun moments that they're having or could be a laughter could be thriller could be horror so for me that needs to be engaging entertainment should be engaging so these three things if we have then i think it's it's a good enough reason to produce that film if i go and smile when i'm supposed to smile in a film i think the film's working with me and that's what i normally like to do you know you were talking about how uh, a lot of people actually say that they should sub subscribe to well we were saying your channel nargis how have you never thought of becoming a producer do you identify with the kind of film sometimes that you do or sometimes you just do it I didn't even know how I got here. <laughs> First of all, I'm still trying to figure it out. But you stayed here quite a while. I stayed here yes. for other reasons. Yeah, okay. But along the way, like, it's been enjoyable and it's not enjoyable. <laughs> Depends who you work with. Yeah. And I'm so yeah. grateful and blessed to be a part of this film. Was, he, was he okay to work Everyone on this uh, film has been amazing. Like, yeah. everyone is like, I thank God. Because since she can't lie, that's that's the truth. Yeah, I cannot lie. It's like so a, it's every, a disorder. Every time she goes to the airport, we have with placards. Please don't go. Please don't go. Come back soon. <laughs> Dreams were being realized in this country. You know, everyone here has a dream, and it's not just to become an actor. It's about their to go out there, show what do you have as far as talent is concerned, and then to make it big in life. And that's possibly a story that Banjo uh, is aiming to portray. Of course, Rite Deshmukh, uh, apart from just the physical appeal of it. Uh, you've also had not a, a rags to riches story, sadly, not money wise. Otherwise, rags to riches stories, you had no cinematic uh, sure. background, and then sure. now you had a rich, uh, I mean, a, a complete huge bank of cinematic background. So, even you've had a similar kind of journey trying to prove to everyone that I belong here, I'm here, and I can be a leading actor of worth. No, no, I, I think uh, that's a p interesting parallel that you've drawn uh, between Tarat and me. Somewhere, probably I, I myself didn't think of it, but now that you've said it, Yes, it, it was about uh, going there all alone. Um, obviously, it's a sense of security was there, yeah, thanks yeah, to yeah. Um, uh, my family, my brothers, my father, my mother. Um, so that security was there. But I was into a space where I didn't know anyone. Yeah. I, um, I never, my father um, at that time um, was on an influential space and a position. But I never, I don't think there'll be any producer, uh, anyone in the industry will ever tell you that he called them mm -hmm. to say do something for him. Um, so I have failed, I have struggled, um, I have, um, uh, there's times where I didn't have work um, and I didn't know what to do with my uh, time, uh, but then suddenly there was time, so I, I went from doing a single hero film to a two hero film to a four hero film, uh, then eventually... Uh, lots of animals in your films as well. Lots of animals yeah. in my film. Including, stars, yeah. in, in, including Sajid Khan. Uh, and, uh, with his hairstyle sometimes. He I don't know, but he's amazing. Actually, you're, you're fighting him. with him hairstyle-wise, you know? Who? He'd got this... The, both of you actually have these curls, yeah? This is Sajid Khan's wig. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I love him a lot. So, yes. So, I, I think eventually, uh, if, if there's a place, if there's a stage, if there's a platform where you can <coughs> perform whatever you have uh, and whatever limitations I have within that I perform. And I'm glad to be here for the last 14 years. I think uh, that's the appreciation uh, that people have given me and I'm here. So I actually uh, overstayed uh, no. a lot <laughs> beyond yeah, my the, first You're time. in the prime of your youth yeah. now, my dear, and now you're flowering. Let's yeah, put it look that at way. your hair. Look at hair. So youthful. Yeah. <laughs> now, I guess, uh, li like we said, so uh. Uh, you don't judge your own performances sometimes, but do you, do you sometimes think back and, and say, oh my God! I, I, I want to mimic. Her. Yes. Okay. I okay. want to. Oh, sorry, wow. sorry. I want to. He's do a this. brilliant mimic, I, by the way. I, I, I'm scared. I wanna, so, for example, if there's a scene yeah. uh, between Tarat yeah. and uh, oh, Christina, no, what are you say? yeah, and and that's the camera. So that's that's what it is. And uh, after I say my line, you have to just say cut. Cut. Okay. okay. And you're Tarat, and I'm going to say like. Uh, so I'm just going to say, "Tumne esa kyu kia?" And you can say that. Cut. Okay. Tarat, tumne esa kyu kia? Cut. Was that okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I was, like, was that okay? Uh, was it okay? <laughs> 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 you tell me. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, move on. Moving on. So that's fine, right? We are okay, right? Okay. <laughs> huh? Listen, you have to write a book on survival in Bollywood. Oh my but, God, I'm sweating right now. 
<laughs> well, yeah. Not bad, right? Yeah. I remember. Yeah. This one, okay. you know, the quintessential white lady who survived yeah. really well in I'm Bollywood. I'm not even really white. Yeah, actually, you're half white. Like, I just showed someone a picture of my father and my mother, and they're like, that is your father? Because he's... In a bad way. Well, he's... And my mom's really... I don't know how I came out so you're fair. Dead. He's, he's like, I, I, like, he's so... Like so, I mean, we I have to do a really long extended show. With one our day, I'll show you a pic. I'll show you a picture. Please do. No, no. Why not? That you mention it after the show that you can show me the picture. I don't as well. have it. Oh, there goes a ring. <laughs> bye, bye. Accessories. <laughs> uh, it's really funny. No, but do you do you sometimes uh, regret a lot of the decisions that you made, or are you okay with it? Do you look like, back and what say, decision? Film wise. No, because like, what did I know when I came here? Mm. I didn't come here looking for a job. They called me here, yeah. and then they like left me on the street to fend for myself. And then I kind of had an agency that sweeped me up and said, okay, you know, you know, we'll help you, poor child, and make money off of you. And so I said, okay, because I'm poor, so I might as well. So we'll here I am. Make money off you. Yeah, because well that's what you are, right? Yeah. And so then they, you know, but they've been, you know, very helpful, and then you know we work together and. You know, so you're staying then, and you're letting people make money off you still. You know, I'm telling you, <laughs> agency people right behind the camera just trying to figure how to get that line deleted. No, but I mean, nothing in my show ever gets deleted, and that's a rule. But that's the truth, right? Yeah, that's We're fine. a commodity that's. That's it's fair enough. Down. Krishika, do you think that? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we work hand in hand on our feet. But whatever, team. it's not a bad thing. It's a great everyone's thing. making money. Yeah, that's yeah the whole absolutely. Thing. Yeah. We gotta is, eat. That's what it's I said. Just, it works hand in yeah. hand. Uh, you know, so, so I'm not saying in a bad way. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we agree with that. We're not backtracking. Yeah. So my decisions that were made were th with the team and together. So I don't regret. Like, I had a hard time doing four films. So I don't regret it, but I'm glad I experienced it, but I don't think I would ever do so many. Oh. Like, I would want to do... One at a time? Like, one. <laughs> or two, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, this should be, this should be yeah. pretty good. What does the initial reaction but, be? Uh, one thing I must yeah. say, when uh, Nargis saw the uh, promo and this, uh, of the film, she had tears in her eyes. She yeah. said, I never look so beautiful. <laughs> oh. made me look so beautiful. But you look very hot on screen. There's no question about it. I was I don't crying. Yeah. Especially in Banjo. She's no, looking the best. Off. What what has the initial reaction been as far as all your Fantastic. friends, family, critics are no, concerned? A very good reaction, yeah. and uh, for my co-directors who yeah. who've been uh, who I've worked with, everybody has called me and said, "Yeah, this is a it looks really good. The film, the songs, and they liked Udan Shu, yeah. and uh, they, now it's like a debate now which song is going to do better yeah, than the other." Is uh, music because is a very large a, part yeah, of, uh, of obviously magic. So, so that, that's the reason, reason like each of them have uh, told me, okay, I, this is my favorite. So I felt really nice. I said, okay. <laughs> Add on the back for Ritesh Deshmukh also, huh? Always. Well done. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, for joining Thank me. You, sir. Thank you. And by the way, in case you haven't seen his his latest Marathi offering to us, Thank God Bappa is another level. You know, before right, we leave, you. I cannot have this interview without ever talking about that. Uh, you made uh, Marathi feel so cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you all have seen it, it's gone viral everywhere. So this is all helping. You know, it's all helping our film. Ritesh yeah. Deshmukh is in the news every day. No, but so is Nargis <laughs> Pati. So it's really <laughs> helping. Sorry, for something else. No, no but, but I have to say, thank God Bappa um, is, is, has got its birth on the sets of Banjo. Wow. Because the writer director. So does she have the rights for it? No. Who? Oh. <laughs> <No. laughs> we have to yet discuss it. <laughs> but because the right dialogue writer of uh, Banjo uh, yeah. gave me the lines, we thought, let's make it. We got the DOP of Banjo because Banjo is looking so cool, so we got him. And um, probably it's the only song of Ganpati uh, in black and white. Yeah, and uh, ever. cool. And cool. And it's, it's, it's not, and, and it's got a bit of a sarcastic tune, but I love it. Thank you so much, guys, for joining Thank me. You. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing a lot of money being made, which is obviously her proven track record anyway. So lots of money being made of you also, because you're going to make a lot of money from this as well. So till the next time, take care, and bye-bye. <laughs>